And we are underway in Studio B with the three Davids on WNCW this morning. Great to have you. Great to be here. Thanks. You know, we all live in Asheville, so it's just great to come down the mountain and see you guys. Yeah. And you've known each other for a long time, but it took until almost well, not quite a couple of years ago yeah. for you to actually get together and play. That's right. Tell yeah. us about how you did that. It's kind of a completely spur of the moment thing, actually. David Holt and I, was David Lamont, talking. We were walking. We were flying home from Atlanta on a Sunday night after flying out for gigs for the weekend, and separate I saw gigs. him on the plane. What's well, yeah, yeah, separate gigs. Yeah, yeah, different shows in different places, but every you know you go through Atlanta on the way to wherever you go when you die. They say so. We were coming through Atlanta on the way back, and I uh, saw David on the plane, and then we were waiting on our bags and chatting a little bit. And I said, buddy. It's a little bit dangerous what just happened there, you know, both of us on the same plane. If David Wilcox had been on that plane, who knows what could have happened, you know. If the plane went down, Western North Carolina would be bereft of all of its David musicians, you know. It would have been a terrible thing. And David Holt looked back at me and he said, we should do that show. <laughs> and I said, yeah, that sounds like fun. Let's do it. And so I drove on home and it takes me, you know, about 40 minutes to get back to Black Mountain. By the time I got home, David Holt had gotten in touch with David Wilcox and David Wilcox had said, yeah, let's do it. So we got together and here we are. And we did it, you know, last year, Diana Wortham and uh, had a great crowd, a sold out crowd. And it was just so much fun for us because it's so different than, I mean, we're, we're you know, we started out, it was going to be sort of a singers in the round, songwriters in the round, but we started playing together. We realized, no, we should back each other up on everything and, and really find a, a part that we can all put together in a little three-piece band. I mean, together collectively, you've got almost a century of, of musical experience. <laughs> That's right. More, actually, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and But then there's a, a kind of a synergy that you've picked up on with this new kind of vein that you're that you're going in. Especially for me, because, you know, I've been, people know me as playing traditional mountain music, which I, of course, deeply love. And most of the things I write kind of come out of that uh, tradition. But, but I've been writing songs all the way along. So it's really fun to play with these guys who, that's what they do, is, you know, write new songs all the time. So it's been great. How do you write the songs? The songs written together is a challenge that we're leaning into. We're figuring out how to do that. And I think uh, doing it as a band is so different than doing it as three singer-songwriters who are used to just playing their own stuff. Because as a band, you start thinking, well, I play it like this, but actually it would sound better if you played it on that. And maybe you should sing this verse and I should sing that verse. Using our strengths, uh, that's something we're just growing into because we've only done, I don't know, four or five of these so far. And it's going to be fun to, as we do more gigs, see what happens with uh, really using our strengths instead of just each writer singing what he wrote. But the thing that's really important about this is is everybody kind of leaving their ego at the door and just... Like David will say, why don't we try it this way? Well, you know, I've been playing the song I have written a certain way, and I'm I'm pretty attached to it. But it's almost always a good idea. I almost always agree with him. And and uh, you know, David Lamont will say, well, why don't we try this rhythm? And and uh, so it's really fun to let go and just try the other people's ideas. Yeah. The only danger is when you say, take it, Dave. You know, we all take it. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <It> goes crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me a little bit of the approach of a band like the Kruger Brothers, because essentially all of them are playing lead. <laughs> and in a sense, you're all leading, you know, you're, there's no one dominant But the figure. difference of us with this group is uh, nobody is actually a, a flat-out lead guitar player. I mean, we, we finger pick, we do different stuff, but, uh, you know, we don't have like a solo guitar player. And so that makes it really, we have to be really creative and have a lot of fun to, to find what parts we're gonna, we are going to do. It's just been a blast experimenting with all of it. Each of us is really accustomed to being the whole band by ourselves. And yeah, so yeah. to get to step back and, and say, what if I just add this little piece and let you carry that? And and what if we switch up the rhythm? And it, all the songs have morphed in the rehearsals, and it's yeah. just been so much fun. Yeah, We've got plenty of toys here today, and it looks like uh, you may get to play with all of them before it's all said <laughs> We're going to try. Uh,